even so we, when we were children, were in bondage under the elements of the world. When the fullness of the time was come, the Most High sent forth his Son, made of a woman, made under law, made under the law, to redeem them that were under the law, that we might receive the adoption of sons. Galatians chapter 4, verses 3 through 5. Giving all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham Yahawashai, Bahasham Racha Kudash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Green Millstone that rule well and labor in the word and doctrine. Shalom in peace. May that be unto the elect of the nation of Israel. Now, the Gentiles, the Gentiles, the Gentiles. So, this will be a, a video touching on the topic. You know, paraphrasing a lot of scriptures, paraphrasing a lot of the. We might, we might go into language a bit, but it's more going to be the face value of the, a lot of the scriptures and then taking a, a closer look. Right, so we're in the book of Galatians. Now, Galatia, you know, look it up in terms of its location. It's not the, the Holy Land, per se. So why on earth is it being included in the quote-unquote New Testament? Because I thought these were all to the Israelites. That's what the Israelites have been pushing out. But let's explore it then, okay? Let us explore it. The book of Galatians is written to who? Right, that's a key thing first. You go into uh, Galatians chapter 1, and verse 1, and it says, to, sorry, verse 2, it says, and all the brethren uh, which are with me unto the churches of Galatia. So brethren, if, you're, if you have an Old Testament knowledge base, or if you have any understanding of the Old Testament scriptures, quote unquote Old Testament, you know what I mean by that? Genesis through, it's called it Malachi, right? You understand that the brethren, pursuant to Leviticus, the 19th chapter, it says, Thou shalt hate thy brother in thine heart, thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. Right? Against the, and it also talks about against the children of thy people. So, the, thy brethren, thy neighbor, and the children of thy people, these are all synonymous. Right? Synonym meaning same, um, same meaning. Effectively, same name, but same meaning. So, you have the term right, terrified. You have the term fearful and you have the term scared. They are all synonyms, right? They are all different words used for the same purpose, right? Uh, articulating the same point. So as are the terms brethren, children of thy people and neighbor. So when it talks in the scriptures about love thy neighbor as thyself, we have to say, well, who's my neighbor, right, biblically? And when you go into the scriptures of it, because we can't deal with them um, guessing, especially at this time we cannot deal with guessing we have to go into the scripture and really understand the meaning of it right, it's, it's all good I read the Bible 365 times a year and I mean cover to cover right, you have them man oh I know the Bible, I know the Bible my uncles read the Bible 3,000 times a day for the past 7 years brother, you have them people it's all good reading because I can read Chinese writing, as in I can look at it. I guess you can consider that reading the symbol, but I don't have a fucking clue what it says. I don't have a fucking clue what it means, moreover. So it's important, understanding what you're reading, reading comprehension. Our people specifically very much lack that, especially when it comes to the scriptures, because we've been disinformed, misinformed, and whatever other you know fancy word ended in informed we can think of. We've been through it all, we've been de-educated, we've been miseducated, you know, sin, sin, <laughs> synonyms, you know, word of the day, synonyms. So exploring that, who are the brethren? We've explored the idea. So Galatia is written with all the brethren, right, onto the churches. So this is where we will dip into the Greek. I'm not gonna pull it up on screen. Please, if you find it, it, what do you call it, edifying to do so, pull it up. But for now, I'm going to tell you, the word is ecclesia. Ecclesia. If you're to choose a software such as Blue Letter Bible, King James, uh, My Sword, King James Version, all of these are going to have 
a letter in the Strong's Concordance, which is basically they've lined up the English words of the scripture, the King James Version, and they've correlated it, right, meaning to make it fit with, with the Greek word that's in the, the Greek script that we have. That's the, the, the oldest available text today of the so-called New Testament is currently in Greek. We believe, we know by faith, we'll say it like that, we know by faith a lot of this was in Hebrew as well, but again to the Gentiles some of these were people speaking different languages. Right, so Galatia, it says, um, the brethren that are with me, the churches of Galatia, right, so the word churches is ecclesia, and that's the same term used for the church in the wilderness, right, the book of Acts reference a church in the wilderness, which is where only Israelites were dwelling, right, there was no church in the wilderness of a multi-ethnic conglomerate, if I'm using that term correctly, right, there's no evidence of, oh, by the way, in the book of this guy, it turns out all the Israelites were actually joking, and they were actually Elamites, they were actually Moabites, or actually, no, it didn't go like that, it, right, no, it goes so you go into it, so the t there's a term that I've used, Ecclesia, right, like Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiasticus, they all come from that same Greek root there, Ecclesia, which means simply, it means like Wayakura, which is, um, and he called, like, um, what do you call it now? He called out, he called out, the called out ones, the chosen ones, um, it's actually, that's the, that's the Hebrew word, it's a root word for the word Quran, right, that's what we would claim, I mean, the word is meant to mean the reciting or the calling out, well, Leviticus, I believe it's the first uh, verse, the first chapter of Leviticus, fact check me, but uh, it comes from the root Quara'a, Quara'a, to call out, the called out ones, the chosen ones, and that's what it means, man, those that were gathered out. Now the church in the wilderness was Israelites gathered out. The church all the way throughout the book, Genesis, Exodus, right, going on, going on, going on, going on. We can just list them. All of that is Israelites. And then you want to believe there's non-Israelites in the new, um, the new portion, the New Testament, as it's been termed. The books of Matthew through Revelation. That is not, in fact, the case. There, first off, there was brethren with Paul. They were addressing the brethren, the ecclesia. When you go into the Blue Letter Bible, you go to definition D, you'll see the assembly of the Israelites. And that is applicable, that is appropriate, that is a correct term that you can use for this situation as well. Right? There's nothing in any of the New Testament epistles which, when under analysis, does not still link up with the, the biblical narrative as it was at the beginning, right? Replacement theology or supersessionism is the ideology and idea trying to be pushed out, pushed out, pushed out upon Israel, When, especially when we're saying, no, in fact, that's not what Gentiles means. There's a, a very heavy and strong pushback because that's taken away a, a core-held belief in so-called Christianity, right? That the Jews, which is not just Jews, it's the Israelites, it's the northern kingdom and southern kingdom tribes the Israelites are the sole the sole inheritors of the covenants yes they are, right, Romans 3 through 5 if I could wish that myself were accursed for Hamashiach for the sake of my brethren right, and then it goes on the Israel, who are Israelites to whom pertain the adoption and the covenant and the glory and the promises and the giving of the law and the service of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh and I might be missing something as well. Right, so Apostle Paul said that in Romans, the book of Romans, right, to all that be in Rome, I think it says, beloved of the Lord. Right, we're not, we're not, he's not included in that. It says, uh, I think Romans 4 and 1, it speaks about how Abraham, our father, as pertaining to the flesh, hath found. Hold on a minute. How is it, how is it the father as pertaining to the flesh? Because they all descend from the same men because they are from the same men, right? Because it's consistent. I'm a little bit all, all over the place, but Lord willing, I'm gonna bring it together. So Galatians, right, the brethren, we read that bit, and to the church, the church there 
I'm claiming that that is inherently uh, ethno-based, right? You can be a part of the church of the believers unless you are of Israel, right? There's no such thing as a mamzah, mamazah, entering into the congregation, right? Someone illegitimate. And all of the nations would be illegitimate for the covenants, the service, the promises of the Heavenly Father. Right, because that was promised to Israel. The Lord does not break his promises, man. The Lord is not a flaky, you know, human, a man. The Lord is not a man that he should um, lie, neither that he should repent. Right? The Lord is not soft like that. He doesn't say, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna I'm gonna do this and then oh come on in Elamites, Moabites, and any of the ites. Right, he doesn't say that. So we're going into Galatians chapter 4 and it talked about the fullness of the time was come when Hamashiach who was, how did it phrase it exactly, to redeem them that were under the law that we might become the sons of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai not realising also that term the adoption that's written in Romans chapter 9 the adoption, the glory the covenants, the giving of the law the adoption is the adoption of sons and that's what these wacky tacky Christians are saying the non-Israelite Gentiles are grafted into even the, the, that's a video in itself so I'll leave it as such but the idea that other nations can graft in you can't graft in an orange tree to an apple tree right, I'm not a top high level gardener <laughs> I have no idea about that but in the limited research I've done on this topic it's been affirmed that you cannot grafting one species to another similar like this yeah the Israelites they were a crazy wild olive tree but there was still an olive tree brother right they were still of the same genus of the same type of the same what do you say of the same ethnos if you want to go into the Greek of the same why right the same nation if you want to go into Hebrew they were the same people man the same um so they were just they were wild in their philosophies and their doctrines ideologies their ways of worship their manners of uh, culture but they were still the same ethnic group the same ethnos right the same nation that's the difference so who were those that were under the law you take a, if a christian comes up and they say right galatians it clearly shows that they were in galatia where's galatia right and i remember that was the a little homework research task where is Galatia right where is Corinth where are these places you should learn where these places are right because then when someone says oh well where is it and you say well oh, Corinth is in Greece and they'll be like ha ha you don't you don't you say Corinth is in Greece which proves that da, da, da. and then you take on first Corinthians chapter 10 where it talks about how all the fathers of the Corinthians were in Egypt, right? They drank of that spiritual rock. They say, well, what Greeks were they? You know, there's nothing wrong with knowing maps, with knowing locations. It helps with history. And the apostles say, if you don't know the history, you can't know the mystery. Do you see? So, he, he asks you, where is this place? Where is that place? Thinking it's a gotcha question, right? Because you know, you, if you're from the Caribbean, you know you got family in Canada. If you're from the Caribbean, you know you got family in England. If you're from Caribbean, you know you got family in Uni United States. It doesn't mean that they, at one point, the family didn't live or dwell in the area of the Caribbean. You say, where are you from the Caribbean? All right, well, where are the Caribbean people from? You know, we didn't all just spawn there. You have to take it back. So people being of different ethnic groups, dwelling in different places, immigration exists, believe it or not. You know, people did travel around prior to, you know, whenever, whenever people think that this came about. Just because um, Cornelius is of the Italian band, all right, so there's, there's no quote-unquote Negroes living in, in uh, Italy, in Spain, in, in Portugal, in this place, in that place. Yeah, of course, of course, of course. All right, sidebar, sidebar, but we're back. So Galatians, you take him... So he says, yeah, the, well, the Galatians, they were, in, they were in Galatia, man. So clearly they're not Israelites. You say, okay, who was under the law? They'll say, Israelites. You say, oh, okay, okay. So what's this talking about? And he 
can't, you can't do it. You know, it. It's a spiritually deep water, right? These are living waters, but they're spiritually deep waters. You know, water is a dangerous thing. Yes, it hydrates you if used appropriately, but misuse goes back to that idea again: moderation. You know, quote unquote, everything in moderation, as the world says. No, not everything, but moderation, a just weight rather than a false balance, is absolutely expedient. So, deep water can drown you if you're not careful. <laughs> you know, deep water can drown you. So you take him there and say, well, who was, who was uh, made under the law? Who was under the law? And there's a lot of these little things you can go into to prove, well, how would that be? Unless they want to be, if they want to be honestly consistent, if you want to be scholarly with a document as this, not even spiritual, but scholarly, you have to, you have to admit it, you know? Of course, there's, there's bits that are spiritual, but then it gets into the history. It gets into the certain events that can be corroborated by secular sources. And that's where you can, you know, you can, you can take it many different places. Obviously, but it's, it's by faith. That's where it comes back to. You know, you can show someone this until, until you're red in the face and they're, they're red in the face. You know, and the whole world's looking like e. However, it comes back to faith. Right? Because you can show a man a stone and say, well, this comes from this, 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 but he don't believe it. What's the point? Right? So the point is of this, them that were under the law. Who was under the law? Right? This is in the, the book to the Gentiles, right? Speaking to them as they are these people. Well, yeah, the Gentiles because they fell into the ways of worship, of, of religion, of the, of the other nations. But they, they are Israel by genus. Right, to be continued, Lord willing. Giving all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rechakudash, Shalom.